I'm Mary B. Today let's talk about making sure that the left arm is really comfortable when we play. So there are so many components to the left arm and problems at the top can lead to problems in the hand and problems in the hand can lead to problems further up. So we've got to be pretty patient about it and really examine all the different sort of components that are happening all at once. One of the first things that you need to um, have a look at is your shoulder setup. And the main issue is whether you use a shoulder rest or not is squeezing with the shoulder and holding the violin too tightly with your head, your jaw. And holding that position um, for a few seconds, there's absolutely no problem. But if you're rigidly holding the violin um, in a sort of claw-like um, position between your shoulder and your head, you're going to get pain. Now you've got to really, really work on your shoulder rest and make sure that it's bendable, you can mould it, and uh, also make sure that you don't put the shoulder rest too far to the outside of the shoulder. That causes a lot of pain. Because there is a natural socket movement um, the shoulder, the outside and round part of the shoulder must be free. So if you want to use a shoulder rest, make sure um, that the violin is touching your neck and that the shoulder rest is lying in the hollow part of your shoulder behind where the round outside part is. But let's go to something a little more basic, which is simply holding your arm up for a long time playing. Um, it's such an unnatural thing to do. And if you add on to that, turning your hand around in order to get all the fingers down and then twisting the arm like that to, to shift up, it's all incredibly unnatural. So the endurance and the stamina does grow the more that you do. Um, <clears throat> but as well as that, if you're doing a lot of twisting and tightening and squeezing, uh, you might be building up an awful lot of pain for the future. So it's got to be built up and practiced the right way. So if you were going to do, for example, a marathon, you wouldn't do the whole thing all at once, you build up to it. And it's exactly the same with any activity, um, especially the violin. And every violinist has issues from time to time that, that crop up as they learn shifting and everything. You've got to sort of go back to the basics with making sure that your shoulder is healthy when you're doing it like that. Right? So there's a lot of technique involved. And if you're teaching yourself, for example, um, you really have to ask the right questions about um, when you're trying something, just say, is my shoulder uh, tensing up? Is it squeezing? Is my upper arm tensing up and squeezing? Am I tightening my thumb? Am I tightening my um, fingers? Are they rigid? There's all sorts of things to ask yourself and just deal with it one by one and practice loosening it all. So I spent a long time <coughs> developing a very natural position for the, for the arm. It's really just underneath, right? With no uh, twisting. Um, and when I go up the to-do shifts, it's still up to third position. The, the hand or the, the arm is still in the same position, really. Okay? So one of the great secrets of keeping the left arm nice and relaxed is that when you're shifting up, uh, at the same time, make your shoulder really low, push it down low, right? So it's by quite a lot. So incorporate that uh, lowering of the shoulder into the movement when you practice. Uh, at the same time, when you do arm vibrato, do it consciously by making your shoulder really low every time you're practicing. 
so that you're accompanying the left arm movements that you're concentrating on with a consciously low shoulder. A lot of people can find that when they do arm vibrato that their arm becomes rather rigid. But if you think about vibrato, it's exactly the same finger movement if you use wrist vibrato or if you use arm vibrato. It's the same finger movement. And if you can do a movement like this, even if you're doing uh, arm vibrato, it's very, very helpful to stopping your arm becoming rigid. So you can do a little couple of movements like that. And then when you do um, your vibrato, uh, it really helps because you've loosened your, your arm. You've not started with your arm being rigid. But there's another movement uh, that's absolutely crucial to the left arm and it's the difference between playing on the G string and playing on the E string. Notice how the, the arm pivots around. If you can manage a lot of movement forward and back and side to side, that will really teach you that the fingers aren't de dependent on a rigid arm. In fact, the arm has got to be really moving around all the time, diff doing different things. Now let's have a look at um, shifting, because that's when we really have to swing the elbow uh, up like that, when you do a high shift. So let's have a look on the G string. Of course, the thumb moves from at the side to underneath it, just slides like that. Now, you do see from time to time violinists whose fingers are absolutely um, almost parallel to the strings, and that means that their elbow is really far, far into the body. When I do that, I get a terrible pain down the side there, because that's an exaggeration for my body that's not right for me but if you're comfortable with that and you don't get any pain um, that's a very advantageous uh, way to play um, it's marvelous if you do a lot of shifting up and you're able to turn your hand uh, that much so again this is an individual thing that you have to work out but it's really best to have the most natural movements you possibly can uh, in all your technique. So often in long orchestral sessions your arm would get really really sore and tired actually. Um, it's very arduous, there's a lot of stamina needed. So you would simply twist your arm back like this and give your shoulders a really good stretch like that. Twist it the opposite way oh, to what it's been doing for hours and hours like this, right? And you just press it back and squeeze your shoulder blades together and it's gorgeous and give yourself a really 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 good <laughs> squeeze backwards so you've got to stop if you've got pain and you've got to have a think about things and then very very slowly uh, you've got to work out what's happening I mean this unnatural movement here constantly playing like this if I take my violin away that's a rather unnatural thing to do, isn't it? You know, from many points of view, right? Even that. that that's why when you teach children especially, um, you don't want them to practice long hours. It's got to be built up. So it's quite simple. Keep moving your arm this way without squeezing anything here. Just keep your shoulder very low and practice moving up and down and also moving side to side because those two movements are the key to having a really healthy, pain-free left arm. So I hope that this has been helpful and I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye.